Um, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank the Minister for Local Government, Housing and Environment for this uh, invitation. Uh, as has been highlighted by our uh, very generous donors, Vodafone, that uh, the national commemoration uh, is about the last ship that brought uh, the last batch of Girmitiers or indentured laborers uh, from British India. And that, uh, they obviously came on the boat called Sutledge 5 um, in 1916. Uh, those of you may not know, but actually Girmit or indenture system uh, ended in Fiji in 1920. So they were the last batch of uh, Girmitiers who actually served indenture. Uh, to call a spade a spade, indentured labor system was a nice way of saying slavery. As you know that uh, slavery had uh, went through its uh, tumultuous period in, uh, in American, in history, in USA. Uh, the British, of course, had started it and had taken a lot of slaves to West Indies um, and taken them to other parts of the world. And then there was a movement uh, in, uh, in Britain to actually stop slavery as it was. So the next sort of nice political correct way of that time was saying was the indentured labor system. So uh, many indentured laborers in Fiji, of course, suffered the same fate as slaves in other parts of the world. The indentured laborers uh, under the new system at that time, the indentured laborers were taken to other parts of the world, uh, to South Africa, uh, to Mauritius, to Guyana in uh, South America, and uh, even in the Caribbean. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, what actually happened, and unfortunately in Fiji, one of the issues that we've had is that the Girmit experience, uh, the experiences of the Girmitiers have not necessarily always been mainstreamed. Uh, it has not been made part of the national narrative or discourse as it probably should have been. There are over 60,000 uh, indentured laborers from British India that were brought to Fiji. And of course, many of their descendants remained in Fiji after the indentured period. And just to recap, uh, when they came to Fiji, um, they had to work for five years. And you were paid a wage rate, uh, which obviously was quite exploitative to say the least. Uh, people were whipped, uh, women were exploited, men were exploited. Uh, and those of you who know a little bit of history about the indenture system itself, a lot of them used to initially run away and seek refuge in many of the koros. The British then passed an ordinance that made it illegal for a villager to give refuge to a runaway indentured laborer. There are many things such as this, many information such as this, that is not actually known as part of our history, that is not actually has not been taught as part of our mainstream school curriculum. Uh, the reason why, of course, it was done was because the British actually set our education system and they sanitized our education curriculum. So we have to understand that. What this event does is give us the opportunity to be able to look at many of those issues, but more so, and I think it is very uh, encouraging to do that, to actually uh, talk about the, the courage and indeed the ultimate triumph of these people who had been uh, very much suppressed through a particular system and were able to then survive it and then be able to become uh, free citizens of Fiji and indeed are very much part of the Fijian landscape in Fiji. To mark this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, and many of you of course know only perhaps about, you know, you know the important dates, you only know about Leoni Das. Everybody knows generally in Fiji about Leoni Das, which is the first ship that brought the indentured laborers to Fiji on 14th of May, 1879, when it landed in Fiji. Of course, 14th of May rings other events in our history, um, um, but um, one may say it's too coincidental, but nonetheless, the fact of the matter is that's when the first ship came, and it was celebrated, 100, uh, the 100 years of the first arrival of Girmitiers in Fiji was celebrated in uh, 1979. Uh, since then, of course, we have not had any significant national celebration. So this is the next significant celebration that the government uh, is putting in place and it'll be celebrated throughout uh, Fiji. 
The celebrations will commence here at this uh, revamped uh, Albert Park uh, on the 9th of November. And then subsequently on the 10th and 11th of November, we'll have celebrations uh, throughout Fiji, in Lambasa, Sabusabu, Levuka, Nosori, Singatoka, Nandi, Latoka, Mba, Tavua, and Rakiraki. And we have, you know, amidst us today in the room, uh, as has been organized through the uh, minister and his ministry, representatives from many of the, all of the centers, uh, who have very much taken a very grassroots approach uh, to getting people involved at the grassroots level. And I think it is very critical for us to be able to understand that. So the schools are participating, the various organizations are participating, in, including faith-based organizations, to be able to commemorate um, what actually uh, was the last shipment and to be able to, you know, uh, again, highlight some of the issues and the, and the contributions that have been made. The uh, ministry has also um, sent out advertisements uh, and we are seeking and uh, some have in fact been identified who are the direct descendants of the 888 indentured laborers that came on Sutledge 5. There were 888 indentured laborers on that last uh, shipment of in, uh, indentured laborers. When you say shipment, it sort of sounds like, you know, products. Uh, but in fact, that's how they were treated. Uh, they were basically numbers uh, who came to do the work. And in interestingly, uh, just recently when I was in uh, USA, I was just reading, uh, seeing a documentary on the slavery in, in USA and how they were just basically seen as products. And in fact, they were insured as stock. Uh, so I, I think uh, uh, this will give us that ability to create awareness as to what had happened and also to be able to, as I said, celebrate the courage and the triumph uh, of uh, these people. So the direct descendants of those people who came on the Sutledge uh, will also be given a commemoration plaque, uh, which the ministry is arranging. And we hope to, of course, uh, have the celebrations, as I said, in all those centers uh, throughout Fiji. So this is what this occasion is for, and we'd obviously like to thank all those uh, individuals who have uh, put their names forward and have contributed and are willing to contribute uh, to the organization of these three-day celebrations that will be held throughout Fiji. It is very important that we do do that. Uh, it is also um, good to note that the, uh, the uh, Girmit Council had also um, endorsed uh, these uh, celebrations over three days that will be held uh, as uh, the minister had already approached them. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody that's uh, involved in the celebrations. And um, uh, as I said, we look forward to as many people participating in this. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Mohit in the background there, in the back, sorry, I should say, not in the background, uh, who is actually the event coordinator uh, of this, uh, these celebrations. And Dr. Mohit, as you know, is an academic from USP and uh, has uh, done research, uh, of course, uh, in various aspects pertaining to the indenture system in Fiji. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to, of course, uh, as I said, thank Vodafone once again. Uh, without the sponsorship of uh, uh, the general sponsorship of Vodafone, um, I should say it has made it a lot more, um, uh, given us the ability to even spread it out a lot more uh, in various centers in Fiji. We'd like to thank you for that. And I think it is a, a very much part of good uh, corporate responsibility. Uh, to be able to participate in these national e events. Uh, because, like you said uh, correctly, uh, it is the sign of maturity of any nation to be able to deal with its past, and deal with its past with a lot of honesty and sincerity, and, and call it as it is, but not live in the past. We need to learn from the past. We need to celebrate the hardships that people actually overcame and then led normal lives. So thank you once again for that. I'd like to thank the minister also for the invitation. Um, you want to say anything? Okay. Oh, I've been told to ask if anybody wants to ask any questions. Please feel free to ask questions, including, of course, the, the media. Thank you.